and they win both those games to make those, those playoffs, that counts as a series because those are a series of games. It does not count as a those series. Those are a playoff In series fact, of games. In fact, the NBA does not even count it as the playoffs. Those stats don't exist. What do they, they do go off points? into, like, stat purgatory. What do they, they – I was wondering that. They, they, they don't – it's like it never happens. They need to have, like, a, just a specific play and So I, I'll, we are going to be using, by the way, some NBA dunk judges grading. And when you first started, I was going nine. And then you gave a qualifier, and I made it an eight. And then you said the playoff was a series, and I ended on a six. It's a series of playoff games. I don't want on this show takes where people are like, if everybody's healthy and LeBron drops 40 a game, right. come on. And I'm just an optimist, so that very well may not happen. And we may be in Cancun a little earlier than expected. But When did DeAndre Ayton have a chain like that? Baller. Wow. Uh, win a playoff series. If they – I'll say what. And, and I – I want all of these takes to be remembered so that if it happens, I want to be able to play this clip afterwards and give you your flowers, just like I want flowers. And we know very well, good and damn well, that NBA Twitter is watching this. They have clipped off that clip, and they will run it. Yeah. Mainly if some bad things happen. If good things happen, they'll forget, oh, yeah, Mickey Mouse ring, bubble, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the, the terminology would be, whatever the new LeBron nickname will be. Right. Year 19, we've never seen anything like it. Let's just admit. The Mickey and A. So Disney. Good. And those are funny. Yeah, yeah. But so is the ring. And if your team Ooh. didn't make the bubble, how are you talking about the bubble? It's the thing I always say. Wait, Great you got, point. Why didn't you win the bubble championship if it was so easy? Oh, I, well. I felt like the Suns were second place because they went 8-0 but didn't play. Uh, so you might think that you're being a little spicy. Apparently somebody was even spicier than you and is doubling down on your take. Ooh. Let's get a little taste. Ooh. A little taste. LeBron and AD have not lost the playoff series together, and it's not going to happen this year. They dominated in 2020, and they'll dominate again this year. The Lakers' roster problems are overblown. The peripheral pieces don't matter as much as the superstars, and LeBron and Anthony Davis are still the best duo in the Western Conference. Okay. I am going to say originality, eh, 7-8. Energy, to me, that energy was like a six. I feel like that was a 10 for him. Yeah, like, he, I feel like that was a lot of energy for him. So I'm going to give that take. Uh, that, that to me, I'm going a, I'm to a be a hard judger because I don't like the dunk contest when they go too high early on. That's a five to me. Ooh. You're bringing up old statistics. You're, you're not giving me anything new. Um, and also, I just I don't, I don't agree with it. But I feel like you have a meme queued up. Meme is, how do you guys know all this? Well, because I, I mean, I, I, I listen. I want that in my ear, too. Yeah, I do have a meme. I, I'm obviously delusional. We're going to go. Jerry Springer. That's facts. That's facts. Nah, he's, he's he's capping because I think, what, is he saying when they've both been healthy? Because they literally lost to the Suns last year. Obviously, right. the hammy gave out on AD. We'll see, though. It's just hard. You're I think right. He was missing an important fact when healthy. When healthy, there's and nobody that can be. And with AD, that is not something that you can ever bank on. It's just tough. There's been a lot going on. LeBron was getting in at Super Bowl, like most of us were. Super Bowl week was turned up. It's hard. I just don't know. I, and I just don't want to see him go out like this. It's year 19. I was hoping that he'd be able to only play like 50 games this year, conserve his body, get ready for the postseason. Every time he drops a new 25-point game and they lose, I don't get happy about that. I'm just like, dog. Like, I love that meme we, that we, I saw we, recently. We, hashtag kid from Akron. Hashtag chasing Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. Um <laughs> If I were, how spicy would this take be? That KCP should have won the uh, finals MVP. I had memes for that, and I'm sure your, your crackpot staff will find them. But uh, yeah, I had memes for that, how he was looking at the finals MVP trophy. Don't think so. Okay. LeBron's smart. Like, LeBron knows, like, bubble, you know, he's, it's funny, everybody else in the bubble, like, you heard all these stories about people getting mentally frazzled or whatever. Like, LeBron grew up in Akron in the hood. Like, this yeah. is, like, what are you talking about? I get to stay at Disneyland for a month? What about how spicy was LeBron's take that, the bubble championship was the greatest championship of all time because it was the hardest. Very accurate. No home games. <laughs> Disney World. Janky rooms. Uh, Think about like JaVale McGee's room. That he got like a standard room that we would get somewhere. This man's like right. seven foot one, having to put two, two double beds. The two janky <laughs> double bed where you slide in between the middle like a sandwich, like a po' boy that Zion was eating on the. <laughs> Every morning, someone's like room service, and he's like, "Leave me alone." Um, Hot uh, sauce, no seasonings. Like, what are we talking about? Other spicy. Uh, takes that i'm seeing in the app right now uh 
Capo got the juice 23. <laughs> Wait, can you say that one more time for me? So I got in trouble on TNT last <laughs> night because I said balling, and then Shaq was like, did you just pronounce the G? Capo got the juice 23. Does, does Capo really have the juice, though? And what kind of juice is it? We'll Orange, see. cranberry, mango? Like Healthy Clippers. Oh, it says Healthy Clippers in the Western Conference. I'll assume that he wrote finals. But that's not a bad take. I shouldn't have read that take. That was a bad take. Bayshon, Trey Young is a fraudulent superstar who doesn't impact winning. That is spicy. Well, everybody knows Bayshon is a, a diehard Warriors fan, and it clouds his visions a lot, and he says a lot of crazy, absurd shit. So gotcha. Can't so acknowledge there's it. bias to that take. Give it a one. Wow. Okay. Trey, Trey went to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. Orca Whale. Damian Lillard is not a top 75 player of all time over Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady. I mean, I would say even over That's Dwight. And I love Dame. Dame yeah. is the man. But you look at a guy like Dwight and it's like, what are we doing here? Like, I, what do we value that he doesn't make it? Chocolate shoulders? Mm. Like, what are we talking about? Dwight's shoulders early in his career were insane. <laughs> insane. I think <laughs> what's interesting is there's a few guys. Anthony Davis is one of those guys where I think that we're going to look later and go, damn, did we mess that up? I think you, you say that for the hundred, right? Like, and no disrespect to AD, he's had an amazing yeah. career, but his career didn't really take off till he came to Los Angeles. And obviously he was doing a lot of great stuff with the Pelicans, but. I got nervous when they put his picture up in the middle. Like I thought all of a sudden he was going to be like, what? And I was like, my bad, bro. But no, I think when you look at those lists, they're more of a popularity contest. And that's the problem. If you play in some of these flyover states and small market teams, you're not going to get the level of love. So right. naturally, if you're on the Clippers or the the Knicks or whoever, you're going to blow out their 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 accomplishments and then kind of overlook and devalue a lot of other guys. And Do you know who Jamal Crawford said last night should have been on top 75? Grant Hill. Ooh. Injury waiver, maybe. Bill Walton's on it. Bill Walton's that man legend, was injured though. as hell. Bill Walton's a legend. Though. He's in the announcer hall of fame. Okay, we're taking too much time. Uh, <laughs> Now, we have a final five. Five people that sent in 20-second clips. By the way, everybody in the BR app that's commenting right now, if you want to be on this next time, we will put it out on Twitter. We will put it out on Instagram. Send your best 20 seconds, and that is how you get on this show. But we have five. I have not seen them. You have not I seen have them. I have not. All I said to our amazing staff, make sure they're fun and spicy. They could be bad. They could be good. First one is about the Celtics, who came back big win last night. Here is our first submission to Take Masters ever on the Celtics. Yo! What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Caleb P. Jordan. And today, my topic is why the Celtics will win the chip. In the last 10 games, we went 9-1. In that margin, Jason Tatum has averaged 23.9. Before 2022, we, in December, lost 9 games out of 14. Since January 12th, we have won 15 games out of 20. And Robert Williams is leading the NBA in offensive rating and defensive rating. If the Celtics keep playing like this, we will win the championship. You get the ball, Jason Tatum starts dribbling, buzzer beater. Huh? <laughs> That was such a turn at the end that I was not ready for. He bricked it. He bricked it. Okay, let me go back to my scoring. Originality. One, Boston Celtics will win the chip. He had multiple camera angles. He brought up statistics. Originality, Boston's winning the championship. He even could have gone as far to say the advanced analytics of 538 have them at the highest percentage of 17%. I'm going to give his originality a 9 energy i'm giving him a 10 that was exactly what i'm looking for what was his name again uh it's caleb p jordan he's a legend be on the lookout for him i think he's like 16 years old i connected with him did his podcast yes like last year i'm just like yo dog you have way too much energy way too spirited wow. you're gonna be on tv one day so book that one that's a take that will really happen spiciness i am going to give that man boston Celtics with the chip i'm gonna give that an eight that means that my final score for him in an average I'm giving him a nine. Okay. So I don't know. Do you have memes here? What are you thinking? Are you what? Are, what are you thinking grade wise? No. Nope. Yeah, that should have just pulled a meme up while you were talking. Whatever you're ready. I know. I'm slow. I'm slow. I was I was gonna give him a ten for all the things that you mentioned, but the take gets a zero because they're not mm. winning the championship. Dog. Yes. What are we talking about here? Yes. And I'm not a Celtics guy either. Like Celtics. I Twitter would imagine hates me. you're not. Celtics Twitter. I hate you too. You know that. So does that mean your score is a five? Let's give him a... Let's to average him. the spiciness and the the fact that it's not going to happen? He's young. I don't want to break his spirit, so I'm going to give him a seven. 
And I, here I am. I was like, I'm going to be a tough judge early on. And I'm like, nine. That Caleb P. Jordan. Do you think that he was like, I'm going to do the Michael B. Jordan and th just throw the P in there? He's a, The fact that he missed the shot. That's why I, I was comfortable with the nine. Because if he hit it and he zoomed in on the miss, which means he took multiple shots and then chose that take. Yeah. Form was a little janky, too, I will say. Looks like you have a broke jumper, Chief. Wow. Caleb P. Jordan. I just want to confirm. <laughs> y'all y'all, y'all didn't edit that, right? He put that together? He put that together. He's talented. Like He has like a, a 13 or 14-year-old sister who's his producer. So the whole time I interviewed with him, he was like, yeah, my producer did this, and we came up with this. And I was like, who's your producer? He finally brought it on camera. Like, oh, what's going on? Like, damn, I didn't know. Like, I had a whole wow. family affair. Then he was literally like, yo, I got a league, so my mom's got to go drop me off at work. So kid works hard, grinds, gets his takeout. I think he's got a pod out. Check it out. Like, he's a legend. All right, so I am giving it a nine. And are we adding them up, or am I just giving one? It's like Iron Chef. And Josiah gave a seven, so we give Caleb, out of a possible 20, a 16. Which is pretty good. That's an 80%. That's good. It's a B minus. He might not make it to the next round, but he can hold his head high. All five of our potential take masters are watching right now. And I want you to know that we're going to get down to the final two. And we're going to have kind of a takeoff. We're going to do like a little interview with them at the end. Okay. But I'm telling you right now that even though someone might get higher than a 16, that, that, that does not – like Caleb could have the highest score. Does not mean he's winning. We need to talk to them at the end to make sure that they have the intestinal fortitude I think to be a take it. master. Okay. He's got the juice. Let's uh, take one more look at, at the moment that we won't forget from Caleb, the missed shot. One more time, just to really soak it in. Oh, Ooh. and he hit the ceiling almost. I love it. A uh, few more spicy takes. Snake 35 staying on the Celtics. Robert Williams is a top five pick in a 2018 NBA redraft. Too much work. I don't remember who was drafted yeah. in 2018. Guys, we're literally just doing a simple show, not trying to dig deep into the archives. Basketball reference. Uh, Max Myers, Tyler Hero is a better scorer than Devin Booker. <laughs> Max Myers, white or black? I, he's white. Yeah. Ooh, I'm glad you did not post that uh, February 1st to the 28th because you would have got ridiculed. <laughs> You're that right. Is a, that is you a March 2nd take. International Women's History Month. That is a March 2nd take. <laughs> um, okay. Now, our second take. All I know, we haven't seen it. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It is about the heat and Goran Dragic. So it is very specific. Let's hear our second take here on Take Masters. One of the biggest stories that nobody's covering in the NBA is how Goran Dragic is actually a sleeper double agent sent on behalf of the higher ranking members of Miami Heat brass to implode the net season from the inside, hashtag coach chatter. Where was Goran Dragic all this time while he was being traded, bought out, and re-signed? In Miami. You're telling me he's been in Miami this whole time and never had to sit down with Pat Riley? Pat Riley wakes up in the morning and tampers to keep his teeth white. Do you think Goran wants to share the ball with a guy who slapped him in the back of the head? Roll the tape. Pat Riley has his invisible hand inside the Nets locker room and you can't see it because it's invisible. Open your third eye. Wow. So this might be a little older of a movie reference for some of our viewers, but in the words of Billy Madison, slow down. Gotta slow it down. Can, is it? Can we slow that down? Is that possible? One of the biggest stories that nobody's covering in NBA is how Gwen Jarvis is actually a sleeper double agent sent on behalf of the higher ranking members of Miami Heat Brass to implode the next season from the inside. Hashtag Coach Chatter. Mm. Goran Dragic, and, and shout out to Rage Against Twip. Goran Dragic is a sleeper agent saboteur for the Miami Heat. Let me break down my thinking process. Number one, love a take like this. <laughs> <laughs> These are my favorite takes that Pat Riley, because Goran Dragic was living in Miami, is trying to ruin the Nets from the inside out. Also, I could believe this with Pat Riley. I could believe that he has a button that opens the door, and then you come in, and he's got another button just in case he doesn't like you that's going to drop you into a pit of snakes. Execute Order 66, Goran. Mm. Second thing I liked, I forgot about the time that Goran Dragic smacked Ben Simmons in the back of the head. Great callback, good reference, and it's not like that awful 2018 redraft take. He did the work for us. He showed us the slap. I really like that. Third, look at him. 
Goran Dragic, <laughs> not only is the name of a sleeper agent, he's up he kind of has the look of it. He's the kind of guy in that meme that he like puts a little bit of the uh, the powder in your drink and stirs it yeah, up, but sure. then forgets and, and licks it. Originality, I'm going ten. I haven't heard this. I didn't even I haven't even thought about this. This is great. <laughs> Energy. I like the way he did it. I like the zooming in. The speed, though, I think that's part of the 22nd rule that we've established yeah, here. Sure. I'm going to take his energy down to an eight. And the spiciness, though, the spiciness is a 10. I screwed myself on that first one. I really did. I want to bring Caleb this down. This is your show. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm giving my first 10. I'm giving my first 10. That's a March 2nd 10. You could not have given that 10 February 20th. I would just <laughs> say that. Uh, I'm so angry at myself that I did that in the first one. I am, you know what? There are no rules here, right? My first grade, I'm changing the grades. I'm sorry, Caleb P. Jordan. I, I messed up and I was about to curse. I'm, I had Caleb originally at a nine. I'm so sorry, Caleb. I love you. I'm moving him down to a six. And I'm taking Rage Against Twit, and I'm making him an 8. So okay. that means that Caleb is now a 14. Perfect meme usage by you guys. Trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out what he was saying that first time. He sounded like the Micro Machines guy. I know I'm dating myself for anybody. This is your reaction? This was, I was just trying to figure out what he was talking about. Yeah. But um, I can see that happening, though. Goran Dragic seems like an honorable man. Like, Pat, I, I'll do this one thing for you. But I think the real thing is, I feel like he's a Dryden the Petri fan. Obviously, we all were kind of growing up. Mm. He had us caring about the Nets. I was born in New Jersey, so. He played with Steve Nash in Phoenix. There's there's some things going on. Okay, so he I. He just wanted a ring. I'm giving him an eight. <laughs> the KD version was much better. Uh, what is what is your grade? How are you breaking down what we just saw from Rage Against Twitter? So, originality, definitely a 10. Spiciness, 10. And what's the other one? Creativity? Creativity. No, no, uh, energy. Energy. Shit, he. I mean, he. He was passionate. Yeah. I can't give him a, a ten though. I'm gonna give him a nine. Wow. Okay. That was a big one. Rage against Twit. Really proud of you. Again, Caleb. Like I've talked to you before. You're amazing. I'm sorry. Like I. I didn't mean to bring you down. So Caleb is now a 14, and a nine and eight is 17 for Rage against so Twit. So we should make them the two top people battle off to the death. Well, that's the what's gonna happen. With their takes. With sporks. <laughs> It's a, you think it can't hurt, but it can. It can definitely do damage. Wow. A sleeper agent. Okay, that was really good. Uh, we do have some responses, by the way, to the takes thus far. To uh, our first guy, Jay Richard 35 says, no shot the Celtics win the chip, let alone get to the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. Uh, pretty we get standard. it. Yeah. It's pretty standard. Trick Van Exel. Great, great name. name. If you have a great name on Twitter, I, I will always follow you. Like uh, Trick Financial, Goran Dragic, a secret agent, LMAO. Okay. Uh, JJ Taylor, 076, nah, Lefko. Goran definitely wants to win a ring with the Nets. No way he's a sleeper agent. See, and this is why y'all weren't in the, the picks. Because our take agents, our, our takeies, our take masters, they got the spiciness. These are just normal reactions. Uh, other hot take here in the, the comment section, Connor Malley. Maxi is more important to the Sixers than Harden. It's just not true. It's not true. I just sometimes I wonder what basketball people are watching because it's mm. much different than the one I'm watching and you're yeah. watching. And no disrespect to Tyrese, he's a legend. But this is why I like take masters because I know that our guys have been sitting on these takes for a long time. Well, here, okay, well, I'm going to test your, your control room. If they have the shot of him in the polo shirt when they did the starting lineups and they didn't even give him a jersey. Tyrese Maxey? Yeah. Okay. If they can pull that up, I'll give him 26 seconds. 26 seconds? I don't think they're going to be able to do it. But if they have the shot. That, I mean, they've been incredible thus they far. When they didn't they even can. give him a jersey. It was straight polo. It was legendary. But Man. I think that drove him and gave him that hunger. Like, damn, they didn't even give me a jersey. They just grabbed, like, I can't the talk about the Sixers photo. anymore because I get way too excited. I know how happy you were when that deal went down. And I think a lot of people were scratching their heads. But I'm like, yo, a motivated Harden? I'm like, one guy has had two triple doubles in the last three weeks. The other guy's been playing Twitch for eight months. Yeah. What are we talking about here? And it's tough. When you don't, and this is no knock to Ben Simmons, but when you don't play at that level and you're just kind of watching everybody else that's now in midseason, late-season yes. form, and you're still trying to get in 
preseason form is a little tough, but not to knock it. I think Ben can really come and do some work. He's going to really help with the defensive side and give KD some relief when he comes back. But we'll see. So we were talking about top 75 guys earlier, and we were talking about like people that weren't on the list. God bless you. Yeah. You're, you're, it's all good, man. I can't be in a room and someone sees this and I don't say God bless you. I'm not a heartless person. I know you you're holding that you sneezing. Sneeze? I know, you, oh, I know yeah. you're holding Just let it go, okay? <laughs> we're on the app. Uh, take, uh, if somebody sneezes on the plane, should you say God bless you or ew, gross? The nasty on a plane. Thing, the nasty thing I think you can do when you're wearing your mask is yeah. people that pull their mask down to sneeze. To sneeze. <laughs> and it's like no, you def- need to live in that snot, bro. Live That's in the your sneeze. face now. Live in the sneeze. That's the whole point of this mask. Do not yank it down to sneeze all over it. But Take masters. If you have to sneeze, is it respectful to sneeze inside of your hoodie? Yeah, hoodie, okay. shirt, whatever. But I wipe the, like, everybody thinks I'm a weirdo because every time I fly, I come with the Clorox bleach wipes. I would dap you up right now. Over, Overdo it because literally the headrest is the dirtiest part of a plane. I used yeah. to work at this company, Attention. We used to do videos on things like this. It's like dirtier than the toilet. Wipe down the head because you got to think everybody head sweat no. and all the nastiness. Give it a good wipe down. I wipe all the buckles down, everything like that. I wipe that. it down, too. Wipe me down. Um, I'm on. <laughs> head, shoulders, knees, takes. Uh, so the one guy that was also not on the top 75, Clay Thompson. Yeah. Apparently this next take, our third take, our take master's take, Clay Thompson. Take it away. Hot take. Clay Thompson is the best shooting guard in the league, and that includes James Harden. Second thing. The Golden State Warriors will make it to the finals this year versus those new look Philadelphia Sixers. And Klay Thompson will outperform James Harden in the NBA finals on his way to his first finals MVP. Klay Thompson will outperform. So he dropped a triple stack of takes that Klay Thompson is the best shooting guard in the league, that they will play the Sixers in the finals, and that he will outperform James Harden in the finals and win finals MVP. And. And this is your response. I don't know about that one, Chief. I'll let you go first since you queued up the meme. This is I love Klay Thompson. I would have loved to see Klay Thompson play with LeBron and make that right decision. He did not. He stayed with Golden State. Not playing for two seasons, coming back, bang, right bang out, bang out first, you know, first possession. He's gonna need a little bit of time. I think next season, that the take that may very well have some legs to it. This season's gonna be a little tough. He's still got a lot of a lot of work left to do to get to back to clay form. But I used to always say, too, and, I, and no knock to Steph, but Clay literally has to guard the best guy on the yep. defensive side and hit wetters. And if he concentrated on just scoring like Steph does, not to say he would be at Steph's level, but he'd be damn close. Yes. Uh, what's your grade? I'm going to give it uh, – oh, shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> We're in the BR app. There's no rules in BR the BR app. app. I'm going to give it a seven. It was egregious, but he was confident in his speaking. I think I find that for people from the Bay. I don't know if he's from the Bay, but they're always just. His, his name is F. Flossy 253. Yeah, he's Does that from make the it? Bay. He's from the Bay. Probably East Bay if I had to guess. Um, so I have issues with this one. And, and he played to my uh, Sixers fandom. But the first thing that I took away from that was energy's a three. <laughs> this is not the time to be cool. Cool does not translate on camera. It's it's this is this is about hot takes. It's not about lukewarm takes or chilling in the jacuzzi takes. Hot takes. Three energy. Also, he said that Clay Thompson was the best shooting guard in the league, better than James Harden. I don't think James Harden's the best shooting guard in the league. Who you got? Like it's hard. There's, I don't even know what positions people play anymore. That's, that's my whole thing. It's like, are we calling like, this guy a shooting I think James guard? Harden has the ball most of the time. I kind of think of him as a point guard half the time. Look, I used to say back in the day, LeBron's a point guard, and I used to get roasted. People eat me a lot. He initiates the offense. Literally look up the textbook definition of what a point guard is, and then to turn it to a point forward, like, no, he's not really a point forward. Right. Because he's doing this consistently. So it's really hard to say. So And then the third, I do like the spiciness of the final take. Picking a finals matchup and then picking someone that's going to win the finals MVP. 
Uh, do I think that it could be a Warrior Sixers finals? Absolutely. Yeah, easy. The originality of saying that in his comeback season, Clay is going to come back and win finals MVP, that is spicy. That is, in my opinion, because you think it's unlikely, the spicy meter oh, goes up to a 10. For me, unfortunately, the energy, <laughs> I think it's the East Bay, like you were saying, brought it down. I gave my guy Caleb a six, and I, I got it. Wow. You did change Caleb to a six. That means that I got to be the tough judge, and I'm giving it a four. Woo. And, Oof. and uh, hey, Flossie, I, I appreciate you putting my six. You got to add one because his name is Flossie. Okay, I'll give him a five. Give, give Flossie a five. Floss, Flossie a five. The Flossie and what did you five? give? What are you, a seven, I think. So that's a 12. Not Floss Flossie enough. Not wow. flossy enough. You know, I'm glad that I'm going to be the tough judge. I, I couldn't have been the judge that was giving out nines and tens the entire time. I got to be the a hole. That's you got to be the role. D Wade judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'm not feeling it. But flossy, I like the structure of it. I like that you made a finals. I like the spiciness, the spiciness of it. But we've had a guy yelling and screaming and shooting basketball, and then another one trying to fit a thousand words in a 20 seconds. I just like the energy more, and I'm an energy guy. Never doubt playoff clay, though. I will say that. And this Warrior squad, you know, get Wiseman back, get Draymond back. They're going to be a problem. I, I would I would take them over the Suns. Either. I have no idea who's coming out of the West. You don't know who's going to be healthy by the time we get to that point. So I, when, when there's a report yesterday that Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray could be back soon, like, man. And then I have to get into, was the bubble real? And I don't want to talk about that because I know it's going to upset you. Why? But Jamal Murray in the bubble was a problem. Hardest this championship dude was dropping ever. 50 points on Donovan Mitchell. Easily yeah. the hardest championship. No home games? And everybody's like, oh, they didn't have Bam and they didn't have Dr – who cares? Why didn't the I Bucks will beat say them? that the fact that Tyler Hero is going to win sixth man of the year, it is it weird that that almost validates the Lakers championship more? Because with Tyler Hero going nuts in the bubble and then was not good last year, that made me question the Lakers championship more. So I feel like Lakers fans should be rooting for Tyler Hero more. Look, when you look at that bubble, think about it. There was like eight fans there. They were all friends and family. You had to see these people in the hotel lobby after the game. How difficult that is. Drop 50 on a dude and have to go see him at the pool afterwards. I don't think it's that difficult. It is. They're in your head. No home games. No travel. LeBron's uh, you don't need to travel. knees can't get inflamed. Neither can anyone else who had tweaked knees or issues or anything else going on. And for teams that didn't even make the bubble. Did you go to the bubble? No. Okay. I'm not. They tried to I make, was gonna say, I don't you know try to make me go to like All Star Weekend with no fans in Atlanta. I'm like, you're gonna send me to the epicenter of the Rona? This was pre uh, I don't know why I thought vaccines. you were like really important in the basketball circles no. where they were like, We need we need uh, Josiah there for the memes. I'm not spending two weeks in a hotel room not doing anything. Uh like imagine that. I would have went crazy. There's only yeah, so, I'm so much happy Netflix I didn't you can have watch. To go to that. Yeah, like no. glad y'all did. Great uh, job out there, everybody though. Okay. We started off the show with unintended Zion slander. No I, need for it. We don't know where this take is going. It could be pro-Zion. It could be Odin Zion. Don't, no, don't give me the Odin Zion. Zion's been hurt, but when he's played, he's performed Let at a high level. Let them do the level. takes. I'm sorry. Take number four. Take masters. take masters. So I'm here to tell you that Zion Williamson is probably not going to be playing for the New Orleans Pelicans this season or ever again. David Griffin's pretty much severed that relationship. Is he going to play? Is he not going to play? J.J. Reddick said that he's detached and people are knocking the man for gaining weight. But if I lived in New Orleans, I would gain weight too. The food is freaking awesome. It is. <laughs> the food is freaking awesome. I have so many thoughts. Zion Williamson is not going to be playing for the Pelicans ever again. Yeah. Why would he? They didn't even, like, you know, they're just disrespecting the guy. All right, so I'm trying to think about big, first of all, big, low country. Co <laughs> Whose idea was it to put Zion in a commercial from this angle with a Mountain Dew and some Cheetos. The problem we run into a lot of times is they don't think about the memes. They need to bring me on to consult. Okay, so Big Low Country. I, first of all, he, he was wearing Dwayne Wade's outfit from last night. Casual suspenders on a Wednesday afternoon. Big Low Country also complimented the food in New Orleans because it's great. And I like the pitch at the end. 
Man, I got jokes and I just can't fire them off, Josiah. I just can't do it. Zion hitting the Mountain Dew. This is one of my favorite memes. <laughs> always, always timely, always hot. But he wants to go to the Knicks. Let him, let him regroup with his crew. You got Cam Reddish, got RJ Barrett out there. Thibs probably needs to, you know, we'll, we'll chat. But uh, let him go to New York, man. Give him free. And mm. it's like the thing about I've, you know, I've been to New Orleans a few times. For but, who though? But apparently that Popeyes is the best Popeyes known to man. Really? And if I was Zion, I'd be hitting Popeyes. If I'm rich, multimillionaire, I'm getting biscuits. I'm turning up. He's eating the the beignets. Yeah, like can you imagine if Zion one time came into practice and there was like powdered sugar <laughs> on his jersey, and they were like, "We know exactly where that's from." Um, if right, the, but if you're the Pelicans and you see that float. Like, people painted oh. that. Like, they got together. They had, like, a brainstorming session. Like, oh, well, let's make one ton on his jersey. Remember when the story came out about their GM playing the piano for Zion? <laughs> that, remember that story? <laughs> that Remember how this started? That the Pelicans were trying to win over Zion, and David Griffin was like, come on, man, I'm going to play the piano, and you can chill. Okay, but i got to focus on this take. Let me just see my schedule. Originality, Zion will never play for the Pelicans again. Not going that high on originality, because I feel like I've heard this take yes. before. So I'm going to give originality a four. Again, I'm the tough grader, uh, big low country, so I apologize. Energy, my energy was down, and then he hit on the, the food is great, and it kind of popped it up. I'm going to give it a five for energy. Okay. Spiciness, I do think that it is somewhat spicy. I will get a seven, so my overall for him will be... What was the last one again? What was his take? Clay Thompson. I got to give it a four. Ooh. I'm the tough judge, man. I, I got to be the tough judge. Here on Take Masters, I'm giving it a four. I can never. Big uh, little country. I love you, though, man. I appreciate you. Look, the take, we've heard it, but he came with it. The food, delicious. So he was accurate. He was accurate. Energy, he definitely perked up. Like I would, too, thinking about gumbo and beignets and all the beautiful things, jambalaya, that New Orleans has to Oysters. Offer. Ooh. Uh, so I wasn't a big oyster guy. Yeah. I wasn't a big oyster guy until about oyster five, six takes. years ago. Six years ago, and I was like, "Ooh, doing some oyster shooters. Like these are delicious. Don't chew them if you don't. If you don't look at what you're eating. Same thing with sushi. Black people eat raw sushi, but just eat it and enjoy it. <laughs> don't worry about what you're eating. But I'm gonna give it a five. A five, giving him our first single digits. A nine. Uh, <laughs> what, one time in the makeup room. Uh, me and Shaq were going back and forth about whether foods, uh, he would call them white people foods. I think you were there that day. You you told me you broke it down. I mean, I came in a little bit late. I think that was my first time ever being here, and I would just say so it was just me and Shaq being like, Jolly Ranchers. And he'd be like, Purple. Or he, uh, what was one? Brittany, you remember this. Well, no, I'm not going to say that. Left, go do it. Yeah, no. Risk it all. Risk it all for Jolly Ranchers. Get out of here. Risk it all for watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Black food or white food? Risk it all. The big wigs are watching this. This is like, But everybody loves watermelon. It's yeah, tough you because there's... Any other ones? <laughs> and you, you say, Adam, say watermelon. No. That is the flip. This is like when Shaq put the dreadlocks and said, do the accent. And I was like, are you trying to get me canceled? Like, I don't get anything watermelon related at restaurants just because, like. I, my wife is the same way. I can't order fried chicken or watermelon at any Chappelle restaurant. Skit. I can't do it. Even um, if that's the best item on the menu. It started because I said hey, it was hazelnut cake, and he said white people yeah, food. I've never even seen a hazelnut cake before. But then he said to me, he goes, um, chocolate is chocolate ice cream is a white people food. Yeah. It blew my mind. Black people do not eat chocolate ice cream. I've, you've never gone to a black person's birthday, event, wedding, funeral, whatever you know it may Neapolitan? be. Neapolitan? Maybe there's some strawberry in there, too? It's not getting hit. Strawberry lightly if the vanilla is So out. the vanilla goes Van in it. Wow. And we used to do that as kids, and I used to always wonder, like, what are we doing here? Like, why why just get the vanilla? Yeah. It, was, it sounds great in principle, right? Three different ice creams, ooh, but no, nobody's messed with that chocolate. I would love for there to be, like, our intermission on Take Masters to just be random food takes. And maybe we get Shaq to just record where we guess if he's going to say white people food. Yeah, for sure. Chocolate ice cream is a white people food. No idea. I really learned that. I had no idea. But black people will take vanilla ice cream and overload it with chocolate syrup. It doesn't make sense, but this wow. is the world we live in. Wow. You got any other food takes? Oysters was a good one. Oysters. What is the worst food ever? Food take. Black licorice. Okay. Is the 
Sun dried tomatoes. In college. Why does it taste like that? 21, obviously. But the sun it, doesn't do that to anything else. Why Jager, is it so Jager tough? shots, like, no, please get that away from me. It's the worst thing I've ever Rumble seen in my mints. life. No, get it away. Black licorice, the worst food ever. Uh, greatest food ever. Ooh. Ooh. I'll go first. Go ahead. Chicken pot pie. Wow. Yep. Homemade or like the Marie Callender's joint? Not the Marie Callender's oh, joint. Marie Callender slaps a little bit. No, because then you get to like the bottom crust and you're like, I don't know what chemicals are in this. Yeah, for sure. Second place, Doritos. Dude, uh, Dorito. I was at the store yesterday. Third place, popcorn. Yeah, popcorn is legit. Hi, Josiah and I are kind of fat. That's what you're learning about. Everybody knows that, though. Everybody knows I'll put in work. I'm basically yeah. like light skinned Zion. Uh, but. <laughs> All right, so favorite food. Peach cobbler, my mom's peach cobbler, Ooh. and I can't have the full peaches in there. I need them chopped up and mashed into more of like a yeah, because you don't want to be like Pfft. yeah. It's the oyster rule. Yeah. Okay. Don't chew your oysters. <laughs> Throw them doggies. I'm not seeing enough comments in the app about food takes. I want your food takes in the app. Food okay. take masters. We are so we got Zion, we got Clay, we got Goran Dragic, and we got the Celtics, which means we are up to our final take of. The submission period. This better be some super duper spicy. It is about the Mavericks, the team that knocked off your Lakers last night, that suddenly Jason Kidd, former assistant coach of the Lakers, when their defense was amazing, is now on the Mavericks and their defense is amazing. I hope I didn't steal the take. Wait, before we roll this take, can I just say one thing? Is uh, about Jason Kidd's collar? When DJ, uh, uh, who is that, Corked Bath, whoever put that, was that incredible. on? incredible. One of the most phenomenal things I've ever seen in social media history. But when the drink spilled at the game and everybody was wondering if it was Jason <laughs> Kidd that did it. And then they cut the DJ mustard. I want to say OT Genesis was with him, like, just. Oh, man. The embarrassed that face. That clip of Jason Kidd bumping into the gla- uh, to the cup at, walk into me, walk into me. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. What a legend. All right, here's our fifth and final take. Something about the Mavs. Let's see where they take us. I have a take, and it's not a hot one. The Dallas Mavericks are making it to the NBA Finals this season. They have all that it takes to make a deep run with size, length, athleticism, defense, coaching, and they have, most importantly, they have Luka Doncic running the show. The West is more winnable than ever. LeBron might not even make the playoffs. The Western Conference better not sleep on the Dallas Mavericks because they're coming for you, and they're going to win. And that was from Ryan Dre, and I will cut all of the tension with a knife. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> this is Josiah's reaction. <laughs> Luka doesn't believe it. Can I tell you why I'm giving it a one? Play the first two seconds of this. Play the first five seconds of that take one more time. Please. I have a take, and it's not a hot one. And then cut it off. For making it to the NBA Finals cut it off. This season. If you are coming on to take Masters... This is not take self-conscious. This is not take, I'm not sure where I'm going to settle on this. And Ryan, I know you're watching and you seem like a great guy and I love you too. But you cannot cut your own take in half by going, this isn't even hot. It's not even a good take. I'm going to say he was nervous. He's making a video. He's going to be on the BR app. I th- you know what? I think what he was trying to say was, this is going to happen. Yeah. Okay. But I, 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 I couldn't even hear the rest of it. He's confident though, so I got to... I had to change my score. I wasn't gonna go low. And now, because I went so low, you're gonna you're gonna coddle him. I want okay. these people to like me. Okay. Wow, you are re- you're the rant. You're the. I'm gonna six. give it a six. But this is why, because it was a good take. I think he shouldn't have started off with it's not a hot take. Yeah, like I you got said. I got messed up. We should have clipped it off past that. He should have no edit mode. We're dealing with people who are not. My savvy dream is up. that somebody forgets to clip the end of their video and they're like, Ma, I'm doing a video, and like they send it in by accident. He reminds me of my dad. My dad does not know how to crop vid- uh, photos or anything. By so. the way, I'm moving it up to a two. <laughs> I'm moving it to a two. I feel bad, Ryan. It's a spicy take. Look, I, I was gonna say if Dragic went over to the Mavs and joined Luca, potentially possible, but that squad struggled with the Lakers, and the Lakers to date have been fairly cooked. Product. There are two teams. And oddly enough, they both played last night. That my fear is that they're peaking too early. The Mavs are one, and the Celtics are the other one. Where we see this every year, you dominate January, February, March, and then when April, May comes, the rest of the team now, the rest of the teams have kind of seen the film. They've kind of figured you out a little bit. And in the words of Ray Lewis, momentum is real. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I thought the Grizzlies in there too, and, and no I knock agree. to them, they just don't have that that playoff experience that's necessary. But I'm very scared of what Jaws going to be in the next two to three seasons. But I will say to Ryan's in a Lakers take jersey. about oh no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> to Ryan's take about the Mavericks, 
if this Luca J Kid relationship is good, Luca's 23 years old. Here is the collar. <laughs> what an incredible moment of internet history this was. Where was it every 1,000 retweets or 100 retweets, Corked Bat made the collar bigger and bigger? So the thing is, that fit he's wearing, he used to get that at TJ Maxx as a kid, used to come up and be in the clearance <laughs> rack. It would always be a size that didn't fit, like a 5X or whatever it may be. But a baller fit. Like, if you wore that fit in 2002 at the club, oh. you were getting numbers and you're getting hollered at. Looking at 2002 <laughs> fashion, like, people were like, you're wearing your jersey the correct way? Nah. Turn it around. Yeah. Put Marshall Falk in the front. Yeah. Oh, man. Pele Pele. Good. Ooh. And Nietzsche. Oh, so much oh. goodness. Fat Farm. Oh. I, anytime you see a dude that's wearing that, what's your first thought? Legend. No. Oh, I it, was like, man. Either he's a time traveler, <laughs> or he doesn't have good friends, or he just served a bit. I want an academics velour suit for my birthday. Did you hear that? Baller. Mrs. Mrs. King Josiah? The, the velour suits back in the... I remember when velour first came out, and we were all wearing it, and we all felt so special. So, before we go, let me just get a few more comment takes from the app. Okay, we have some food takes. This is going to serve as our intermission before we announce uh, our two that are there. Uh, J I Jid 1313 apple pie is better than strawberry cheesecake. No one said what that, yeah, that, but nobody's ever going to make that debate. Like they're both delicious. Apple pie is in my top three desserts. It's top three for you. Apple pie, key lime pie. Ooh, so you're a key lime guy. I didn't know that. bro. And, um, man, all desserts. Uh, I don't know. Ice cream. Okay. For sure. Top you got, you I go love key lime. The pie. yellow cake with the chocolate frosting. Ooh. Strawberry shortcake, also delicious. Better than cheesecake, I'll say. And then peach cobbler. Got it. Like yeah. I said. Okay. Peach and cobbler's number one. So the delicious. other food take, and I love this. Ready for whatever 43. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what, are there 42 other people that are more ready for whatever than he is? I appreciate that because I thought you were laughing because I said whatever. No, and, I'm, okay. no. We, we, I thought that was going to be like the running gag of the show. Who was, it? Who was the other one? <laughs> what was the one you just, oh, gosh. I don't remember. Cap on the app or whatever it was. <laughs> Capping on them. Ready for whatever. 43. Pancakes over waffles all day. I Ooh. don't care. Taylor Rooks asked me this recently. Rank these three. Pancakes, waffles, French toast. And it's the best version of them. Um, if it's a Roscoe's waffle, for okay. those that are familiar with Los Angeles, got to rock with the Roscoe's waffle. I feel like waffles are more elegant. And then pancakes and like French toast, delicious, but it's just like leftover bread that. Wow. I haven't just heard leftover. that take. I sometimes feel, though, that a perfect French toast, when it has like some of the egg wash, yeah, still like sure. very, it really hits. It's a slapper. But I agree with you. And I, I have to, did he say pancakes or waffles? He said pancakes. Waffles are elegant. Belgian waffles? Like, I don't even know how they got in there. I feel like they stole it from Africa, some dude from Belgium. Absolutely right. I'm taking these back to 100%. Belgium. 100%. That's, that's how it goes. We just saw that with the chocolate, right, going <laughs> yeah. back. You know what I mean? Sorry, Belgian. Like, Belgium, like, I'm just letting you know, like, your waffles could be taken. So yeah. Which country do you think it was from? Uh, Mr. Roscoe. So I feel like they originated <laughs> in Los Angeles. And somebody else should take credit for it. Oh, man. I feel bad. We just keep throwing this up with Zion. Like Which one? Zion. And he would go, all three. Sorry, Zion. I'm, man, we can't do this. What kind of po' boy is that, though? Is it catfish? Is it shrimp? Shrimp. shrimp. But I don't see the shrimps. I see one long You're right. I see one right. long strip of meat. You're right. It's like a filet of fish po' boy. Do you think when Zion eats a shrimp po' boy and a shrimp falls out, he goes, ooh, and then twiggle? <laughs> Zion, to me, seems like a guy that I would never trifle with. I gotta stop. With. I gotta stop. This is not funny. This isn't funny. Yeah, but I, he's a guy I would never trifle with. And it's like, if he's like the savior of your franchise. Zion just said, did you just say truffle with? Okay. Tr uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop! Adam, stop! Why did they make this? Why did they do it? Racism. That man has done nothing but perform for you guys. He's hurt. Let okay. the man live. They have, in the back, tabulated the scores okay. of the five take masters. And we have come down to the final two. The final two was the Celtics and our guy. Uh, what was? But who was the guy that did the Celtics? Take? Caleb. Caleb. P, KPJ. KPJ. And 
the Heat Goran Dragic sleeper cell Fight. rage against Twit. So congratulations, clap it up. Fight to the death now. Of, one of, on one, whoever misses the most shots wins. And we have them. They were patient enough to be with us the entire time. And so let's bring in our man with the Celtic steak, the young legend himself. My man, how are you? First of all, say your name, say where you live, tell people where they can follow you. Uh, my name is Caleb P. Jordan. Um, I live in Mississippi, actually. And you can follow me on YouTube, Caleb P. Jordan. We you know Caleb with a K, P. Jordan. You can follow me on YouTube. I actually just dropped a video like five seconds ago, really. Wow. You know? Okay. Yes, He's sir. smart. Heart. So, How's your sister doing? Oh, she doing good. She's actually in school. I had to leave school to come. Hey, nah, see, you should have pulled her out with you, bro. You going, you climbing to the top. That's a that's a free day from school. Right. All right, Caleb P. Jordan, you heard us breaking down your video. What did you take away from our analysis? Um, more of a just being a original. I understand. I got your point about being original. Uh, you hear a lot about uh people talking about the Celtics. Actually, last night on NBA on TNT, Kenny Beecham, who's a YouTuber. He actually talked about the Celtics was like, oh, man. So you hear a lot of people bring in their scenarios about the Celtics. So it's like seeing the other guys talk. I'm like, man, they did. They did talk about things that people on TV really don't talk about. So mm. Were you angry at me when I lowered your score? Be honest. No, 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 sir. I knew I, I, I was good. I was good. He just called it's me understandable. Bro, he, I like this guy. No, he called me sir when I did this. I was like, bro, just call me Josiah. It made me feel old. But yeah, well, he's tons very, of respect, yeah. good dude, hard worker. Like I said, like I told you when I was on your joint, you're going to be the future of this game. So keep grinding. Better takes, Thank though. You. Pick better teams to rock with. All right, so Caleb, I've just decided on the spot that in order to figure out who is going to win, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to think of your best food take. And that will be the competition. So I'll let you think about it right now. Again, spicy, creative, confrontational. You can – something maybe <laughs> we've said. Uh, so, But I, I kind of want it on the spot to see how you can freestyle with your takes. So I've now vamped for about 15 seconds. Whenever you're ready, give us your best food take. Wow. I'm actually ready. I'm actually ready. Hear, hear me out right here. I've seen this a lot on Twitter. I have a question for you two guys right here. Are boneless wings wings? No. Mm. And then what is your take? Give us your take. They're not wings. They're not wings. And the reason why I said this take is because everybody who I argued and actually at work, I wanted to clock out of work earlier a couple weeks ago for somebody saying that there are wings. The fact that he said that, I wanted to write my stuff up because that's just, uh, that's just don't say that again. But they're not wings. If they don't have any bones, I mean, yeah, they don't have any bones and you could pick it up with a knife and, and a fork. They're, ch they're chicken nuggets. No. Simple. Wow, that's a really good take. I was gonna say they're closer to meatballs, like <laughs> meatballs. No, no, give me a bone, cheat. Like I'm, you wow. know, in, in internet, please don't take that. <laughs> me, me. Pause. Caleb P. Jordan, everybody. <laughs> Caleb, stay on the line. That was really good. He did that on the line, which that also means that our next contestant kind of has a leg up because he kind of knows he's had more time. So I'm not gonna give him as much time. Rage against Twit, the speedster Goran Dragic is a sleeper agent. Let's welcome him now. Rage against Twit. Rage, you heard our critiques. Uh, I believe in the earliest round, you were the highest scorer. You have a look on your face like, what am I waiting for right now? What is your response to everything you've heard thus far today? I mean, first of all, I feel like there's a lot of home cooking right here. I mean, Josiah, you knew the kid before you even came on. I mean, you know, I appreciate it. He's a young buck. You know, he seemed very proper. It seemed like, you know, I'm, I'm going to give him a follow after this. But Josiah, I mean, this is like home cooking. I mean, you guys are setting me up. There's a, there's a lot. Of, I'm glad that he came on with the Celtics take because there's a lot of anti-heat propaganda going on. And Adam Lefko, you're a part of it as well. Your network, okay, the other day went and put the Memphis game versus the Celtics over the Nets heat game. They changed that game. So there's a lot that of was my decision. I you did, did that. You I did that. that. I, I didn't did. agree with you're that. Part of, you're part of the propaganda. I didn't agree with that. I didn't agree with that. Um, how, has this actually, this Goran Dragic take, a take that you've actually had for a while? Or when you saw us say, give us your takes, you're like, let me come up with one real quick. Let me cook up a take. Well, you know, you know, there's a lot of hype going of Goran Dragic possibly coming. You know, it was a long shot kind of him coming in. And, you know, when you finally see him in Miami, you're like, you know what? This is probably going to happen. And the fact that he went to uh, the Nets, I was like, man, that's an L. But then I thought about it a little bit there, but I'm like, this is this is probably a bigger plan by Pat Riley. <laughs> oh, so you really believe this? I love it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Pat Riley. Why, why do they call him the Godfather if he's not doing Godfather-like things? Mm. You have a question for him before I go to food? No, I'm, I'm, I mean, I think you got the highest score in the first round, so it definitely wasn't. Yeah, so home you're picking. the favorite right you now. You are the favorite. 
And honestly, I believe yeah. in crazy propaganda and conspiracy and all types of stuff. So I would say that that's very well in the range of possibilities. Like, Dragic and Riley are texting each other memes and stuff. Do you think that Goran Dragic has a fake tooth filled with cyanide just in case he gets found out? Oh. <laughs> you know what? I haven't Kevin Durant's like, and, something's and fishy. The, <laughs> no? the fake joint. Uh, all right. What is, give us your spiciest food take. Where do you want to take this, Rage? Well, first, I mean, first of all, pancakes, overrated. Second of all, boneless wings are wings because if, if it's a chicken product, it's a wing. I'm sorry. I just have to, I have to, have to just, it, it is, it's wings. What if it's a chicken leg? Wow. And just like that. Stump. Oh, no. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Was that going to be your food take or did you have a different one? No, I was just trying to respond to what was going on in the show. You know, I've been listening here for a while. So wow. um, I appreciate it. Pancakes, they're not, they're just like an everyday type of deal. Like, it's not a big deal to get pancakes. When you pull out that waffle machine, you put that mix in, yeah. the appropriate amount of cinnamon, all that goodness, spray it down, make sure you don't get the janky waffle that wasn't poured properly. It's a lot that goes into it. Any final comments, Rage Against Twit, before we, we put you aside and Josiah and I figure out who wins? Um, Heat and five. Oh. Heat and five. Heat and five. That All was right. spicy. That you was take spicy. him off the screen. Take him off the that screen. That was the spiciest. Okay. Thank you, Rage Against Twit. I can't look at his face. I can't deliberate in front of him. Okay. Take Masters. Put him in the waiting room. <laughs> so I will say of the two takes, I liked Rage Against Twits more. Clearly, we gave it a higher score. Yeah. I thought that in the freestyle round, our guy KPJ – delivered a beautiful soliloquy. 20 seconds felt like on the dot yeah. on wings off the top of his head. I was a little bit disappointed against Rage Against Twit right there. I like that he went counter to you, but then you hit him with the chicken leg. And it was stumped. Stumped. Chicken legs are not wings. Stumped. It's like Impossible Burgers. That is not a burger. You're a flats only guy. Straight flats. I get it. You already know. Okay. Um, and, and so I'm torn because in the freestyle round, I feel like KPJ won. But in the Take Master round, I thought it was Rage Against Twit. And so what I'm going to do as a trained professional is to let you make the decision. Ooh, I knew you were going to do that to me. Is to put all the pressure on Josiah Johnson. See, if I, if I pick Caleb, I get accused of home cooking. Right. But if I go Rage Against but his wing take. But egregious. are we going to really boil all this down to a wing take? But I do like the Goran Dragic sleeper cell because yeah. it could be possible. He de definitely looks like the type that, you know, his only allegiance. Audrey, I just want you to say one name in my ear. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to – yeah, we just want to know who you think. Our, our amazing producer, she's saying so much pressure. I like ties. Okay. Did you hear what she picked? I didn't. Okay. She is picking Goran Dragic, Sleeper Cell, Rage Against Twit. If we can blame Audrey, I think we'll do that. I think so, too. She's pregnant. You can't get mad at her. Yeah. Congratulations, Rage Against Twit. Go. You won. Caleb, yeah. let me get back on the podcast, though. Let me get back on the podcast. Uh, and, and KPJ, I just want you to know that you are the man. You are an up-and-comer. Uh, you killed it in the freestyle round. But the Rage Against Twit take was too good. Rage Against Twit, you have the floor. Uh, anything you want to say to the thousands of people that will undoubtedly follow you after this experience? I mean, follow this closely. I feel like there's going to be a lot of think pieces going forward. It's not really going to happen soon. My prediction is not really going to happen soon. You know, Goran Dragic is going to make it look good in the beginning. Make it look good. But wait until you get to the playoffs. It's going to be, he's going to put, he's going to put <laughs> Ben Simmons in some predicament. He's going to be some bad passes. Probably give up an easy pass, you know, easy uh, layup to uh, pass it to Ben Simmons. Just watch. Watch going forward towards the playoffs. Rage against Twit. Congratulations. You are our first winner of Take Masters. Uh, Audrey, do we still have the other contestants on the line or have they dropped off in furious anger caleb let's throw caleb up rage against twit congratulations caleb uh we need to talk to you again because we love you uh congratulations on being a finalist and uh where can people follow you again i feel really bad because you're young he's guy. a legend no it's good it's good, it's good. oh he's breaking oh, up all right then dump him oh. sorry <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's left coat being left coat where can they follow you at caleb p jordan on youtube caleb. Mm -hmm. You already know it. Yes, sir. Caleb P. Jordan on YouTube. K-A-L-E-B P. Jordan. Like Michael Jordan. This is your origin story now, okay? Yeah. Years from now, we will face off and you will end me. And that's just how it goes. 
he's going to be like, yeah, I lost Take Masters after I dominated this dude in the freestyle round, and I never let him live it down. Uh, what were the names of the other people that performed? I know Ryan. Flossy. Flossy. He was Flossy. Big, Big country. Big love country. Thank you, guys. Your takes were really good. Everybody in the app giving the takes. Thank you so much. This was Take Masters, and we want to do this for other events, whether it's the NFL, whether it's we're going to have to do a food one by itself. Yeah, for sure. Uh, do you have a meme to represent how you feel about what we just experienced? I do not because I didn't have time and you caught me off guard. Yeah, but yeah. I will say I appreciate you guys. Anytime I get to come out to Atlanta, I got the full recline on the plane. It was amazing. Had some peanuts and almonds and a nice snack selection. They serve peanuts on an airplane? Yeah, we're back. Wow. They had pistachios too, but I'm not a pistachio guy. Pandemic's really over. Pandemic is, ooh, that full recline. So appreciate y'all pulling up. Thank you to the crew and everybody. Yeah. Everybody did an amazing job. Even the sneeze, well placed. It was a well timed sneeze. Well placed sneeze. Top ten sneeze that I've ever experienced in my life. I normally do that to tell people to rap like sneeze. All right, <laughs> wrap it up, Chiefers. Uh, thank you for being here. I want to get all emotional, but I hope we do this again. So I'm not gonna like say Let's goodbye. Let's do it, King Josiah. We're the, getting it. You're the man. Uh, left go here. Thanks to everybody in the app. I'll just piggyback on all your thank yous. Thank you to the amazing production crew that whipped this up out of nowhere. You guys were killing it with the green screen. This was a lot of fun. And if you have takes, be on the lookout when we are calling out for the videos. 20 seconds, and this is your chance to shine. We are going to remember all of these takes, and if they hit, we will celebrate you. This has been Take Masters. Holler at you later.